uh, this project has taken a bit longer than I expected purely because um, I had to have these OSP boards delivered from home base <laughs> and uh, uh, I was supposed to have them delivered a day before yesterday so yesterday was a good day um, it was sunny no rain whatsoever we're in the we're in the middle of November here and that would have given well I could have finished it yesterday anyway uh, they came today so what I'm doing is quite late obviously in the night in the night as you can see I got my floodlight on so using that to do some work uh, since I'm able to and uh, yeah I started drizzling a bit so never mind I'm gonna have to call it a day here but basically I wanted to get this sorted so what I've done here these are the uh, support base for the base anyway um, and, and this OSB board is sitting on top this will be the flow if you like okay and so I've just pinned well not pinned screwed um, three of these joists on and I got another two that one there see that one this will go in that gap that will sit nicely and then again likewise I'll just screw them on and for the rest of it all this I'll have to cut out um, I'm going to use off cuts to um, you know do this bit I was going to buy a OSP board uh, cut to size but then I thought I've got so much um, off cuts um, as I use them so yeah um, that's fine I don't mind having pieces joining up to, butting up to each other not a problem what I will do is I've picked up a technique from another youtuber what they do is they apply glue between the joints and then they butt the two pieces together so I'll do that one you will add waterproofing barrier to you'll, you'll add obviously strength and join the two pieces together or the pieces together anyway so because I'll have these joists going across quite a lot yeah well two more and then you got obviously uh, nuggins going between so even if I have smaller off cuts that's not a problem it will still sit on something that's the key thing right so another thing is that um, uh, this um, what do you call it this uh, uh, stain the stain is waterproof as you can see just over here it's been raining right I'm not sure if you can see from that angle but um, maybe if I go in an angle from there um, anyhow take my word for it so all that all that water if you can see the reflection that's water so instead of soaking into the did you see that drip yeah there instead of soaking into the wood it's actually gathering at the bottom and just dripping <laughs> so clearly uh, stain works it's worth it um, for all the reasons why not if you're gonna add additional barrier to, uh, provide additional barrier tomorrow um, we should have a good day with a brush I'll go on fill uh, spaces like that and and so on whatever so that's wet hopefully it will dry overnight even if it doesn't dry it's fine um, obviously once the stain goes on it I kind of will trap the moisture in but I don't think it will trap the moisture in entirely so you'll still be able to breathe and the moisture will be able to um, evaporate over time uh, of, of course you'll have I'm using OSP boards to clad all that so that's fine so um, it should add a plenty of waterproofing barrier that base you see it's um, well made to measure so it will sit flush with the base and that's fine that's the objective anyway I'm trying to uh, get at um, and then oh damn it I forgot oh never mind I was going to wrap these in black bags and then um, or, or, or plastic anyway because they're going to sit on um, broken pieces of uh, not ceramic uh, porcelain tiles over there that I don't want to use so they'll sit here in this space I'll clear all that space out clear all this so sit here so what I might do tomorrow the other end up to here so up to there okay up to there all the way I got some gloss I will use gloss to gloss it um, definitely gloss adds much needed waterproofing barrier here's a piece I glossed um, a while back for experiment and as you can see the water is literally um, sitting on top of it it simply cannot penetrate I mean it's probably penetrating a little bit at a time make no mistake <laughs> however uh, however um, so so far it is holding up okay so why not add another uh, you know um, domain of 
waterproofing barrier if you can do so that's exactly what i'm doing bear in mind this side isn't gloss so clearly it's penetrating through there so bear in mind gloss paint is used for used for a boat building so um yeah something that works and that's probably why people use it um but yeah i thought i'd share that how to proof i guess this part of the video will be how to waterproof wood for various projects maybe even you know making a boat or whatever uh dinghy or whatever or kayak whatever you want to make uh certainly for make, building a shed you can use stain and you can use gloss if you really wanted to do so to add waterproofing barrier against the weather against especially against rain so this is it for now adios